Now with that report making headlines about reducing women's cancer risk with birth control, the latest research shows it could help protect you from certain cancers for up to 30 years after you stop taking it. Our chief women's health correspondent, Dr. Jennifer Ashton is here. And Dr. Ashton, tell us about this study. It's something doctors have known, but right. us women, not necessarily. Exactly, and the word needs to be repeated. This has to get out. This is all about the non-contraceptive benefits to the pill. This latest study reinforces what we have known for decades Decades, but this study represented the longest follow-up. They looked at 46,000 women, followed them up to 44 years. Wow. Massive study and found that the risks of certain types of cancers were dramatically reduced. We're talking lower risk of ovarian cancer, lower risk of endometrial cancer, which is a type of uterine cancer, and lower risk of colorectal cancer. Now, flip side, because you always have to talk about the risks, right. taking the pill does slightly increase the risk of developing a blood clot. And some studies, though not this one, have shown a slight increase in the risk of cervical cancer and breast cancer, but the breast cancer risk returns back to baseline after a woman stops taking the pill. So can you explain why the pill has some of these medicinal benefits other than preventing pregnancy? Yeah, and we call it chemo prevention when you talk about reducing the risk of cancer. This study did not explain why. It didn't show cause and effect, but there is a theory. So I'm going to show you a little diagram here. It has to do with blocking the hormonal stimulation temporarily that goes from the brain to the ovary and the uterus every month. And in suppressing that stimulation, you're also suppressing or preventing that monthly cycle of damage or destruction that occurs as we release an egg and shed the uterine lining. And it's important with a study like this to also talk about the other ways you can reduce your cancer risk. A hundred percent. That's always important because there are always options yes. for women who choose not to take the pill or can't take the pill. Pregnancy lowers the risk of uterine and ovarian cancer. Obesity, avoiding obesity lowers the risks of all these types of cancers. Aspirin can lower the risk of colorectal cancer, although it's not a recommendation for everyone to take aspirin for that reason. And then new data, removing the fallopian tubes can cut the risk of ovarian cancer. So a lot of benefit to the pill. All right, Dr. Ashton, always great to Thank have you. you. Thank dear. you.